Last video, we talked about how most entrepreneurs understand that they need to spend time working on the business, but they don't take the time to do it. Or if they take the time to do it, they're not near as effective in doing it as they'd like to be. We also talked about and distinguished between two different types of ways that we work on the business. One is actually working on the business. That's when you're taking part in the actual projects and tasks of doing the things you need to do to work on the business. And the other way we work on the business is taking time to think on the business. Now, this video is all about the four core barriers that prevent people from working on the business, the things that actually taking action on it. The next video is gonna be all about how to more effectively think on the business. So let's dig into the four core in the business. Most entrepreneurs think it's their people, they think it's time, they think it's something else other than themselves. But the reality is you are the number one asset in your business because when you take the time to think and work on the business, everything else in your business gets better. Your people are depending on you to do so. But if it feels selfish to you to work on the business, if it feels selfish of you to take time away and retreat and think on the business, you're not gonna take time to do it because you feel like you're being selfish for taking that time. When your people need you, your team, your people, your customers are counting on you to take that time to work on your business. Because if you don't, your business will not improve or deliver the value that it could be delivering both to your people and to your clients. That's barrier number one, is recognizing who your most important asset or what your most important asset is that's you and that the most selfish thing you can do is to not take this time to do it versus feeling like you're being selfish for doing so. Barrier number two is putting this time in your calendar to work on your business somewhere in the middle or at the end of your day or at the end of your week. We have a finite amount of discipline and a finite amount of willpower. It is more challenging to spend time working on the business than it is to spend time working in the business. Because working in the business, those are the day-to-day -day routine tasks. You can get those things done really quickly without even thinking. But working on the business requires more thought. It's more challenging because you're trying to solve big picture problems and move things forward, create things you have never created before in some cases. Put that time to work on your business at the beginning of your day. Make it the first thing you do in your day before email, before any other distractions and any other tasks or projects. Make that the number one thing you focus on at the beginning of your day when your willpower and your discipline are at the highest level. Don't put it off to the afternoon because inevitably it's gonna get drowned out by other tasks. Barrier number three, many entrepreneurs feel like they have to accomplish the entire task all at once rather than breaking it up into smaller parts. One of the, by definition, when you spend time working on the business, most likely you are working on projects that are going to take you longer than 15, 30 minutes to complete. Oftentimes those are projects that will take you hours in some cases. Rather than feel like you need to wait until you have a four hour window or a 12 hour window of time to get something done or a whole week to work on something, break it into smaller parts. Ask if this was a five step process to get this done, what would that look like? Phase one of that project may simply be just sitting down and breaking out what the phases are. I'm gonna break this out into five or six phases. I'm gonna put this into my calendar over the course of the next six to eight weeks. And this project will be completed in a couple months. It's okay to not have to get it all done at once. When you break it into smaller pieces, then it's not overwhelming and you know where to start and what to work on next. The final barrier to working on the business that I see that holds entrepreneurs back from taking action during this time on their calendar is the belief that it has to be perfect from the onset. That whatever you come up with as a solution, whatever system you implement, whatever process comes into play, that it needs to be done perfectly. I wanna encourage you to embrace the fact that number one, you're not gonna get it perfect out of the gates. So just release and let go of that idea altogether. What if the goal wasn't to get it perfect? What if the goal wasn't to make it the way that it's going to be as an end result? What if the goal was simply to get out version 1.0 of your project and to know that into the future, you can make additional iterations and different altercations to this plan down the road. It's easier to steer a moving vehicle than it is one that's parked. Just get this in motion, get it out there, get mo, right? Good enough to move on. Get things moving on this project and say, this is the first step. This is the first version of what we're putting out there. We'll, we'll adjust it in the future. Six months from now, we'll make it better. Six months from then, from then, we'll make it even better. Apple does this with the iPhone. What are we on right now? The iPhone 15 at this point? Recognize that 
getting it to market, getting it out there and in motion is better than waiting until it's perfect. Stick around for my next video where I dig into how to effectively think on the business and unlocking some of the secrets to making that time more effective.